bit of a role as sergeant arm thank you very much for recording so before i start i was just told that there will be a link will be shared in the chat so please open the link and you can give your feedback or your attendance and at the end there will be feedback session uh, link as well so let's start with our session now i'll be minimizing the view part so i can see my own slide now we all here to learn about sergeant arms some of us we are new to the role some of us we have experienced the role in the club some of us we have already performed the role in our clubs so let's look at it from you know everyone's perspective we'll go in detail whatever required and we can skip where everything feel they they know everything in that part now sergeant at arms we all know is very important role in the earlier session if you have attended there were two special and very important segments which were covered retention conflict management now let me come to the retention part first how do you think sergeant at arms role is equally important in the club for member retention i will not talk about arranging coffee all the time so let's take it from a different perspective as well i think that may i yes on? please uh, dm sandy i think um not only does the start get on the environment of the meeting um and greeting guests it or the search unit arms is also in charge of hospitality and social events so of course if you've got um an event committee that the sergeant at arms you know is in charge of then the club will be more active you will get them doing different activities and outside of meetings that will encourage more people to uh, participate okay so within the club and outside the club and we need to look up to the one okay anyone else wants to share something uh, may i may i say something sir yes uh, mr tosman rashof yes yes uh, ashraf khayat from uh, bob the tosman club actually first of all i want to thank you for the opportunity and it's a great privilege to attend uh, this uh, session uh despite that I've attended several times earlier but it's always a beneficial special when you are this actually the session leaders it's i believe i will gain more uh, experience and more knowledge from your side so thank you so much for that um one of the most important role um, you know as a sergeant arm is to start the meeting in time so okay. definitely we're going to greet everybody we want to make sure like the guests will be comfortable and they are welcome to the club prior to the starting of the club as soon as they arrive you want to make sure that the arrangements are taken and including the agenda uh, the role uh, the role players are available so you can actually proceed with the starting of the meeting in time it's very important also that the sergeant arm should keep and i uh, on the timing uh, according to his role with the time of himself so definitely you want to make sure that even the 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 meeting is running as the schedule but also you want to make sure that there's no interruption and it's running smoothly thank you sir thank you very much to sponsor rashid see a member will come to your club a guest rather a guest comes to your club he will observe the entire meeting he will observe how the meeting is moving how the people are acting the roles what is the quality in the club and the quality start from the sergeant arms first impression if you as sergeant arm perform your role you contribute a lot in the quality and eventually you contribute a lot in membership retention and getting more members so let's start with our slides one by one now we we'll be talking a lot in between so do you all know about these pins do you all have seen these pins yes silence means yes in the court so 
Do you know what is this pin? Anyone can unmute for a second. It's the pin that you should get if you become a surgeon at arms of the club. This is the sergeant at arm pin. And this is the brand of sergeant arm in the Toastmasters meeting because everyone can just muted me. Okay. So yeah, I got a message in between the host muted and then again unmuted me. Okay. So this is a pin which you wear in your meeting. And this shows the brand of not only the Toastmaster, but also the brand of you as an individual officer in the club. People see you, they recognize you that you are the Sergeant Arms, right? Whenever we wear a pin, that pin gives us respect and the value in the organization. Okay? So make sure you are Sergeant Arms, if you have not received your pin, talk to your club and get, the, get your pin and wear it in each and every meeting within the club and even any event you attend outside the club, especially if it is a Toastmasters meeting. When I say outside the club, you may attend any other club meeting. You may attend a contest meeting. You may, part you may participate in the XCOM and so on. So wherever you go and represent Toastmaster, make sure you have your pen with you because this is a brand you carry with you as a Sergeant Arm of Toastmasters Club. So let's start where our role starts. It starts with asking questions or getting the feedback from the immediate past sergeant arms. Now there may be a question from the new clubs. They say, we don't have a past sergeant arm because it's a new club. So that's where your mentors come into the role. But if you are existing club and you have changed the term, you are the new sergeant arm for the current term, you have an immediate past sergeant arm. You need to sit with the immediate past sergeant at arms. And this is true for all the roles, immediate past president, immediate past VP education, VP membership, and so on. You should sit with the past officer and get all the information from him so that you have a base where to start from. He may give you the entire history. I'll, I'll talk about it in a while. The entire inventory, the full details, which you need to know from where you need to start. And from there you start and build your entire term. If you're all okay with that. And if you have not done this, I request you to please go and meet with your immediate past Sergeant Arm once again and discuss with him what he has left the term with and what you have missed out so far. So you can start from there. For the new clubs, please discuss with your XCOM, with your, with your mentors, and you can ask any other club sergeant arm or any past sergeant arm, how they can guide you. If you need any guidance, help, this whole Toastmaster fraternity in District 20 is there to help you and support you. Okay. Any question on this, especially the new clubs? I'll count three. One, two, three, getting none. Thank you. So what happens before the meeting starts? as Sergeant Arms. You need to know the meeting schedule. You need to know the meeting schedule. Why is that? Anyone can respond to this. You need to know the meeting schedule before the meeting starts. There are several reasons why you need to know the meeting schedule. First of all, you need to know the timings and to make sure that everything is set up on time and that you know if you have a break time with snacks that when you should take out those snacks or when it's appropriate uh, to do those things and also when you can allow people into the venue um, and when you cannot thank you dtm sandy and i can see hand raised by dtm manoj yeah, just to know that we need to arrange everything beforehand. We need to book the venue and followed by everything what my previous speaker has said. Yes, we need to know everything because we need to arrange the venue. That's number one. We need to know what stationery we have in the club. What do we need to uh, arrange? Sometimes we don't know 
if we have any dignitary, any special guest, special arrangement is put in the schedule or in our agenda, we need to plan it very well. Thank you very much, both of you. We need, as Sergeant Arms, we need to book the venue. If it is a physical venue, is it a hotel or some other location? That's given. But it's also important that we reconfirm the booking. Sometimes we have done the booking, but last moment there's a change in the venue, someone has occupied it, or some cancellation has happened. We need to reconfirm that the venue or the meeting room or the meeting hall we have booked is still available for us. If not, we need to find an alternate. If it is a Zoom account, we need to make sure that Zoom account or the person who's given us the Zoom account is still willing to give us the Zoom account. Or if there's any change, we need to make sure that we get the new account and distribute it or share it accordingly. And if it is, of course, if it is a Zoom meeting, we need to share the link, but if it is a virtual meeting, sorry, physical meeting, we also need to share the location. So the guest, if there's any guest or even some of the members, they don't know the venue, if the venue has changed. So it's very easy for them to come to the right location at the right time. Jitya Manoj, your hand is still raised. Is it some a new question or is the same? No, no, it's by mistake. If you, I can, think. Yeah, if you can, thank you. Okay. No. So are you okay with this so far? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Now, the meeting venue continues. Once we are in the meeting venue, we need to arrange the meeting room. We all said we need to arrange it just like you're arranging the home, but this is a meeting room, professional meeting room. We need to set up the professional environment. Now here, we don't need to do everything by our own, our own self, wherever we can get a help. For example, if you are in a hotel room, hotel meeting room or conference room, we get a lot of support from the hotel team to arrange the entire meeting room the way we instruct them to do. And they arrange the seating arrangements, what you want to keep on the table, how the lighting should be and so on. Right. So it's not everything you need to do. You need to plan, you need to guide them, you need to help them how you want the meeting room to be. And you need to reach before the time. We always say meeting starts on time and it should end on time. Let's see how we can end the meeting today on time. But you need to reach before time so that you can arrange the meeting room. And you have to fix all the equipment and test all the equipment. The hotel team, the support team, they will come and keep the projector, but you need to look at it and test it, how the projector is projected on the wall. How is it properly aligned on the corner? Because when you have a projector, it may be tilted or something. So you need to make sure how the equipment are properly kept. Is it the right position where the, the timing device is kept? The projector, is it kept on the right location? You also need to look at the equipment placement in terms of the safety, because members, they walk, as you call, as their names are called, they walk from the seat to the uh, stage in between. If there's any hurdle or any cable in, in between, we do make sure they are not there so that safety is also considered for all our members and the guests in that meeting. Of course, we need to prepare the tables with stationery. Now, if your club arrange the stationery by yourself, then you need to make sure that you have enough stationery with you to keep to be kept on the on the tables, like pen, pencil, papers, notebooks, whatever. Are we good so far? Thank you. Continue to that, you need to ensure the room facilities like the lighting. Now, why lighting is important? I was one of I, I was attending one of the meetings in one, one of the hotels. The lighting was so dull that we couldn't see very well. It's not that we couldn't see people, but when you want to focus and take a photograph or a video, there's not enough lighting in that room. And if you're sitting and watching the projector for long without proper lighting, again, it affects your eyes, right? So that's not healthy. Cooling system, either some meeting rooms are very cold or you start sweating in those rooms. Especially if it is not a hotel room, it is some other arrangement where you need to get in and then turn on the AC. What happens, it takes a 
while for the room temperature to adjust to the temperature we want to, to feel. And by that time, we already start sweating, which is not a good thing to do because we all come with suit and tie and everything. And inside the suit, we all sweating. That's, that's not healthy. Make sure you have enough chairs. And this is also important why you need to know the agenda and you need to work closely with the president, VP education and VP membership. You need to know how many guests are expected during that meeting. Because accordingly, you need to arrange the number of chairs or the seating arrangements. Will it be only the 20 members of the club or you have five extra guests coming that day or you have the dignitaries from the district or you have guests from other clubs or if you have a joint meeting, you need to understand how many members are there in the other club so that you have the proper seating arrangements. And whenever you have a joint meeting, of course, both the sergeant arms, they need to work together to make sure all the arrangements are proper. Any question so far in this slide? Hearing none, go to the next slide. It's important that if you are meeting in a venue, it can be the hotel room or any other uh, venue you have arranged, from the entrance, you need to make sure that you have put some kind of a guideline or directions how to reach the meeting room, especially if it is different multi-story building, you need to tell which floor it is, which meeting room it is, so people can guide. Uh, people can guide themselves to reach over there. You don't need to be on the entrance to welcome everyone. They, you need to be at the meeting venue, with the meeting room rather, and you welcome the people there, but not at the entrance of the building if it's a multi-story building. So you can put a slide direction, a note or a, you know, a sheet or a stand and guide them, okay, you please reach to the eighth floor. Once the lift opens, you need to say you, on the, you should have a direction towards the left or towards the right and saying that you need to move this area and then that meeting room should have a poster or a board which says that this is the room where the guest is expected to enter or the member is expected to walk in. If you don't do that, the members will be searching the or members and the guests both, they will be searching the venue and it will affect your meeting start time. And the quality and a lot of disturbance happens as in one the walk in and you had already started the meeting. So avoid any disturbance. Sergeant Arm Pandora box. I know this box is very expensive. If you go and buy it in the market, you don't need to have expensive box, but it's just what you need to have available with you. You can keep them in a box. Many times I've seen Sergeant Arm, they have a box kept in the card boot, or they have a place in the meeting venue, they keep everything safe over there. Whenever they have a meeting, they go and extract their items. Now, what do you need as Sergeant Arms? Okay, before I go to the next slide, let me ask someone other than DDM Sandy and other than uh, DDM Manoj, because they spoke a lot, anybody else can mention what needs to be there in the box? Good morning, President. President. Good afternoon. Am I audible? You are. Okay. Uh, I am from uh, Taskos Toastmaster Club from Bahrain. So, regarding this box, uh, I believe that uh, we should have in, into the box uh, like a uh, lighting device. Lighting device. Yeah, and uh, like uh, we have actually uh, normally we conduct dinner, uh, dinner. So we used to you can't keep uh, dinner in this box. Plates. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Plates and you know uh, so uh, such kind of things and other medals. Medals also we have to keep into the box. Okay. A awarding good, medals. Good answer. Good answer. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. And let's see one by one. Let's see one by one. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Kundalari. Sorry, Kundalari has raised his hand. Earlier it was uh, from Tasca Club. Mathia. Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, Good afternoon. How are you? Thank you for your presentation and uh, have your well knowledge to share with us. 
as sajan rams we have to do many things in the club while right? during the meeting and we have to prepare we have to early of the meeting first that we will generally used to do at 10 15 minutes of the early of meeting and we can prepare all these things especially especially in this box we have some tools like uh, the timer timer cards and as well as all our ribbons and uh, what we have the chashis and those uh, generally we will manage and attendance records was a time attendance record we have to take it and uh, all these things and especially these are very important tools what we can keep in the our uh, this box this box mm-hmm. is very important and as we will maintain very easily to carry here to there and whenever we have joint meetings to go there all these things we have to keep it in the box the mainly attendance records we will keep it and chashis ribbons and uh, our uh, time records and what what counter bell um, boxes all we will keep it into box and we will keep it and sometimes we will have uh, interview cards and interview ballot all these things we will keep it this box is very important as it are the comes to maintain thank you very much gkm kondolari you explain the entire slide which i'm going to present right now thank you very much if you can lower the hand now so as our audience mentioned you need to have what is this gavel gavel okay you need to have it for the meeting i know because of the transition from the online meetings to the physical or the hybrid meeting mm-hmm. many of the clubs they don't have it with them but it's important that we should have this in our club in every meeting so keep this part of your inventory in the box number 2 which everyone mentioned the timing device if it is a physical meeting and also sometimes we have the online or the hybrid meeting we also need to make sure that we have the the virtual cards available or the slides available to 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 be presented the stationery sometimes you have a pen pencil if you don't if you're not meeting in a hotel venue they don't arrange it some of the hotels i have seen they give you the venue but they will not give you any stationery if for the station they ask you to pay extra which some of the clubs they don't want to pay they bring their own so if you want to keep their own so make sure this part of your inventory in the box you should have some papers for the guest or members to take notes and pen or pencil as you like or both depends on how you want the club some clubs they have enough funds so you know some more luxury items so some gift as well they keep in, in their box they want to give away to the guest when they come in and these are usually the certain items of gift they also kept in the in the box then your ribbon like everyone mentioned the best speaker the ice breaker ice breakers is something i've seen not every club gift but it's a good thing to give give any ice breaker or the first time speaker or guest speaker they come you can have all uh, from yeah you can but it adds a lot of value people love to collect these ribbons and sometimes we give certificates if you don't give the ribbons so make sure you have enough certificates either you write the certificates with the with the hands with a good handwriting or you take notes of the names you print them and then you deliver them to 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 the winners or the participants on top of that so the quality is not good here is the the ballot because if it is a physical meeting you need to get the audience feedback that who is the best speaker best evaluator and if it is on zoom you can have it on zoom or if it is in either way sometimes in the club we also use other softwares like the cloud signal or the forms we send a link in the whatsapp and they the all the audience or participants or the guests they fill it up and the sergeant arm gets all the feedback and compile the list and give it to the president when they are names to be announced so make sure these items are available it was simple but we tend to forget it especially from the transition we are going through from online meetings to physical or hybrid meetings now beyond that and we also need to make sure that we have the club ribbon now sometimes we have this stand ribbon the roll up or we have the ribbon we hang on on the table on the podium we make sure we have the ribbon with us again a common thing i have seen many clubs 
especially the transition I'm talking about, they have lost their ribbon or it is kept with some previous officer and they have not collected it. So again, as Sergeant now, make sure you talk to the previous team and collect the ribbon of your club if you don't have it already. Okay. Also the, the banner, the ribbons, everything which you have previously received. And once you're in a meeting room, make sure the mic system, other the, 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 the hand mic or the clip mic, which you can talk. And you need to remind your VPPR about a camera or mobile phone or some arrangement where you can take videos and photographs which you can use for the social media or branding or you want to present something in the future about your club. So this is a reminder to VPPR. It's not something you need to do, but you can take that lead as a reminder. Make sure the projector is available if you need the projector in your meeting and it's properly set up. And if it is a Zoom meeting, you have the Zoom arrangements. And as a moderator of the Zoom, either yourself or you can ask someone else to be moderator, but make sure you test all the arrangements before the meeting. Any question on these two slides? Hearing none. Okay. Now, once you are in the meeting room and everyone walks into the meeting room, how will you arrange your seating? Do you think is free seating arrangement is a good idea? Everyone, which, whichever seat you like, because someone has a vision problem, someone has, uh, you know, the movement problem or some, uh, I don't want to sit at the back seat, I want to be in the front. So you think it's a good idea to have the free seating arrangement? This time I want to hear some answers, guys. Yes, uh, Dikim Sani. I think it's good to have your members spread out throughout the room and leaving some empty spaces for guests because if a guest comes in, you'll want to put the next to a member so that they can help guide them to the meeting, um, but of course, uh, you know, it's also better in a way to like leave uh, chairs that are closer to the entrance so that if people are entering during the meeting, that there's not a big disturbance. Uh, but other than that, I think free seating is okay. Okay, thank you, Tim Sandy. It's so, uh, Tim Brown. Hi. I believe that uh, <clears throat> when it's, it's, it's a uniform, unify, unified the process should be there. Like, for example, there should not be any differences between uh, people who are veteran Toastmasters or the members. Wherever, whenever they want to accommodate, should be accommodated. And at the same time, guests are supposed to be given a lot of privilege. In, when I was a surgeon at home, what I do in my club is I always honor because I not only just welcome them, I take care from the right from the beginning till the end when they leave. Because that is the momentum which carry forward where the members feel privileged to have them in our club. And next time when they walk, they will be, they feel that they have been respected with grace, with gratitude and dignity. I believe that free sitting should be there and everybody should increase that. Over to you, DTM Khalid. Thank you very much, Jitia Ram. Anyone else wants to share the experience? Okay, DTM Sandy, you're going to say something or it's the raise hand from earlier talk? <laughs> Sorry, forgot to lower it. I'll go to DTM Osama Jabri. Yes, I can. Get up. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, DTM Khalid. Uh, afternoon, I have, I'm the sergeant of arm for the <clears throat> advanced source master, and our meeting is virtual till now, and we decided to go for the virtual meeting. So, number one, I start the meeting always, the sergeant at arm. I tell the rules. I have the script. I will send it to you in the in the in this chat box. I tell the rules. Then after a few minutes, 
Nobody will listen to the rules, even the, uh, the, the members uh, that please uh, don't move, please don't do this one. They're, but still they don't listen. So I have an issue with this one. I feel upset about it. I, I just told you the rules, um, but they don't listen. How can, how can even the members, I guess I can understand, but the members, what shall I do in this case? Number one. Number two, if we start the meeting, why we don't end the meeting? I mean, we start the meeting and then we had the control back to the president. Why in the end of the meeting doesn't have a control back to us and we ended the meeting? Why do we have the privilege of opening the meeting and we don't have a privilege of closing the meeting? Thank you. Thank you for your question, GTM Osama. I'll come to that. Let's hear from GTM Control Ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can uh, tell about the seating issues. Mainly, I will concentrate uh, about the role players, the timer and accounter and uh, grammarian all will be in the front rows. Then, uh, accordingly, the speakers will be even the toastmaster of the day and general evaluator. This is the mainly we will arrange the seating about the side of the stage. So with that, they can easily to access and who is the guest, uh, who is the speaker is coming on the podium. This is a very important thing when you have a setup of the meeting. And those meetings, if you set such a way, the quality of the meeting will be highly improved and the way of the passing each uh, shake hands and the uh, importance of the meeting will be very high on that. that. That's what my opinion and seating is very important. Those role players, how you arrange it in your seating. So this is a useful for our meeting. Thank you very much. I hope. Thank you very much for your answer. You're absolutely right. Now let me touch base. I'm not saying I'm answering your question 100%, but let me touch base to the point raised by DTM Osama Jabri. For the online guest, you talked about, you know, they don't listen whatever the instructions are passed. Now it is something we have seen in many clubs. We tell, keep the cameras on, but we don't see cameras on. We say keep your yourself on a mute mode. In between, we see someone is singing or shouting at each other. So this, these are the things which we need to address in every meeting. I think the best way is to address it in the XCOM meeting. Let the XCOM know about it. So what happens is immediately you're targeting seven officers or eight officers in the club, including the past uh, uh, immediate past president. If you include them, eight members. So if eight members start that process within themselves then it can be a role model for the rest of the rest of the members and it's important to take help of the club mentors or coaches because they and the individual coaches to the to the members so they can talk to them one to one because if you go and make an announcement after one hour they'll forget what what was the announcement if i go back and ask my first question i ask in this meeting i'm sure many of the audience even in this room there are only 35 people may not have heard or forgotten what I have said. So it's important that we create that continuity in the club, continuous reminders, and show a value why we need to do and why we need to follow those instructions. It is a tough job, I understand that, but with the continuity, step by step, start from the XCOM, let them follow the instructions which you have set, let them agree to the instructions, and then pass it on to the members. And passing on to the members either in the club meetings, it has to be reminded in every meeting. The club mentors needs to remind to the to the individual mentees they are mentoring, so that you know they also listen to the mentors. And with that, slowly, slowly, we can bring that cultural change within within the club. I think that might help. It's just a suggestion, uh, not a not a hard fast hard and fast rule. We can try that. And why you say that we start the meeting and you don't have the privilege of ending the meeting. This is how the protocols are. Uh, because these are the protocols, we need to follow it and we are following it. Now, again, why these protocols? Because we always follow some kind of a rules and guidelines from Toastmaster International and the parliamentary procedures. And that's how they follow it. And that's how we follow it in our club meeting. I hope that answers your question. Now, was there any question from you, DTM Kondal Reddy? Oh, you just gave the feedback, sorry. Okay. Now, coming back to the seating arrangements. Now, what I have seen from my experience, the seating arrangement plays an important role in building the club quality. 
Now, if you have a seating arrangement, especially for your officers, and you can have some kind of a freedom of pre-seating arrangements, a combination of both, that brings quality within the club. Now, this is what the order which I have seen and followed, and this really works very well in getting the quality within the club. See, why members join your club and why members lose your club? Because they see quality in your club, they join, they stay, they remain with your club, they see no quality, and then they leave your club. And one of the quality parameter is how you have your meeting very well organized, and that is the seating arrangement. Now, if you follow the seating arrangement, excuse me, if you follow seating arrangement in the way which is highlighted here, you have the president who sits in the middle and on the right side, immediately right side, you have the VP education, VP membership and the secretary. On the left side, you have the VPPR, the treasurer, sergeant, arms. Now, what happens is if you follow this method in all your meetings, this becomes your protocol in your club. Everyone knows, okay, these are the seats or arrangements all for the club dignitaries in that, or the club officers. I call them dignitaries or club officers. And those seats will always be available for them. Now, what happens if you have guest comes into your club? Like we have a district director who he comes in or the area director or the division director, or you have a president of uh, the international headquarters, someone comes from there on, a, on, a, on their uh, official visits. Now that arrangement, as for the good practices, now many may debate, but these are the good practices I have seen and have I'm followed in our club. But we have the president sits, the VP, VPM secretary on the right side as it is, and as the district officer come, they start sitting next to the president on the left side and the next district officer, and then again, you have the VPPR and the treasurer, the same pattern follows. Now, what happens here is we show that there is a protocol in our meetings, there's seating protocols in our meetings. Now, this is not only in our club. If you go to large organizations, professional organizations, when you have meetings between the two clubs, two companies, you will see how they will sit. The opposite sides, you have the president and exactly opposite of the president is the other presidents of the club or the general manager or the CEO. And then you have their officer sits on the next side and the same order. Even if they put a plate, name plate over there, they put it in the same order that the counterparts sit next to each other or facing to each other. And then they question and answer and debate and they talk. That's how the meetings go. on. And many times I have seen many organizations, they say, the other company has come in, they don't even know how to sit in the meeting. And this is real companies and the real bosses who have mentioned these comments. They have come and they don't even know how to sit in the meeting. What do you expect quality in that company? And I have heard this not from one company, from multiple companies. And I have seen the same thing after joining Toastmaster, that these seating arrangements actually adds value. And I was relating this with my previous company's feedback, which I've been receiving from the club CEOs and general managers, is the seating arrangement. That gives your first impression. That gives the quality in the club. And of course, I agree to all our speakers who said, when you have guests come in, make sure they have the proper seating arrangements. Yes, they need to. If you have someone who comes in who have some uh, you know, physical problems, walking or something, you need to make sure you have, to have a special seating arrangement. So, there is no uh, distraction for them. Follow these arrangements, the guidelines, and you will see it will help your club building the quality. And as you see, and I have seen, see, I have many of you know that I've been part of many clubs and chartered many clubs. Now, what we try to do is maintain the quality in the club. And the guests don't leave the company, the, the club, and they retain. I'm not saying 100% it works but 98% it works and improve the club quality, okay? So please take a note of this and try it in your club if you have not tried it already. And let me know after a couple of months that how your meetings are going. Next, 
it's important that we also have some name plates for our role players. Like I always put Sergeant Arm, and then you have the name right now in this particular meeting. Or if you have a timer, we, we need to put timer and our name, right? So in a physical meeting also, we need to put the time, the name plates in front of the, the role player or where he's supposed to sit. And as Sergeant Arm, you can arrange these before the meeting. So I come as a timer, I know where, where is my seat, I go and occupy my seat, or nobody else will come and take my seat, because according to you, that is the best place for the timer to sit, maybe depending on the, the timing machine or the range of, if you have a remote control based timer device, based on the range of the remote control, or the flexibility of the timer to touch the timing device in, in case they want to rotate it, so it's your decision depending on the venue, right? And similarly, you put the other role players, so every role players, they know where they need to come and have the seat. Now, is it hard and fast rule? They have to sit exactly where you have put it? The answer is no, but they will value why you have organized them to sit. Whatever is your plan, they go as per your plan. Sometimes they say, I'm next to because I want from him during the meeting, especially when we have the our counter and American, they play dual roles sometimes. It's better to keep them together. So if the same person, the other person is missing or it's a dual role, so you can keep both the name plates next to him and he performs the role, right? So this is about bringing some quality as Sergeant Arm into the club. Any question? One, two, three, hearing none. Thank you very much. Yes, so this is what we've been talking about before we started our, our session. We welcome the members and the guest who comes in, okay? Because you are there before anyone else come in, you go before the time. So if any member or guest comes in before, the actual meeting starts, you welcome, you greet them as well. And you make sure you start the meeting and you start the meeting on time. Meeting adequate, adequate, they are very important. You need to read the club mission and the core values. And many times we see the Sergeant Arms say, skip these because they don't come prepared or they don't have the script available, just like Titi uh, Musama just mentioned earlier. You make sure you have a script available with you. Either you read the script exactly, or you make bullet points and you highlight those bullet points or you cover all the bullet points. Make sure the mission is read. Make sure the core, the core values are highlighted. If there's any important uh, point which your club has agreed to, to be put part of your announcement as Sergeant Arm, those points also to be highlighted. Now, some of us, we feel that we don't want to read. We just want to speak the way we, we feel more comfortable, but make sure you have the bullet points available or the script available in case you miss some points, it will be a guide for you. And then as the uh, meeting goes, after you perform your role, you invite the president, then he takes the control. And from there, your role as Sergeant Arm is to do the other activities within the club. So your, your role is not over. But now the meeting starts and, and the president takes the control. You have a lot of work on the back end. Now, this is how what happens in the meeting. We covered all this, all these points. And of course, when the meeting happens and the you circulate the ballots, it's a physical ballots, and you collect them from all the members and the guests in the meeting, and you do the calculation or the compilation and hand over those to the president. Now, as Sergeant Arm, we have new members comes to the club, new joinees. We, are, we as a club, we need to organize the induction program. Now, how you do the induction in your club? Can I hear from one or two very quickly? I know we crossed the time, but we late. We started late also, so I'll not take long from here. Let me hear from one or two very briefly, very quickly. If you have a new member induction, what is the Arrangement in your club. 
Um, excuse me, I, I believe uh, DTM Khalid, it's a part of the VP membership role. Yes. It's mentioned in the agenda. I, I agree. I'm not denying that. But I, my question is, what is the role of Sergeant Arm in that whole process? Because Sergeant Arm also plays a role. Escort, is to escort the, the guests exactly. outside. That's what I want to hear. That's I want to hear how, what is the arrangement in your club? So let's share knowledge so everyone else also benefit. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, Sergeant Tom Khalid. Good afternoon. Yeah, uh, what we do usually in our club, uh, we just, uh, we uh, I welcome outside the meeting hall by shaking hands. And and I'll take him to the seat where he's supposed to sit. This is how we do. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Now, in other clubs. Uh, yes, 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 yes. If, you, if you are voting at that meeting uh, about bringing in that member or not, then, of course, Sergeant Arms has to uh, explain to this uh, new member, what the process is, although it should already have been done so by the, the membership, but just to let them know that they will escort them out of the room while the voting takes place, and then they will bring them back in to allow them, uh, if they have been uh, approved, then they will bring them back into the room, and if not, they will, you know, uh, kindly let them know so that if they want to come back in, they can, but if not, they can leave. And if you are doing the actual induction, then you should have space up front for not only the new member, but also their mentor. And for um, whoever the presiding officer is that is going to conduct the induction. Thank you, Riti and Sandy. It's a very important point for everyone who is new or who has not performed this role before. Now, when a club have when the club decide, okay, there's a new person who's coming and joining the, the club. Usually what we do, we tell them, yes, please pay $45 and you become a member and that's it. But there's a protocol also followed. The member is explained or the prospect member is explained about the entire procedure. The club officers and the club members, they are also informed about the individual because sometimes they may not be happy of that person joining the club for whatever reason, if there's a reason. If there's no reason, everyone welcomes the member anyway. Now, I will not go into that detail of the other, you know, the prospect because uh, information, because that's the role of the VP membership and the Exxon who takes care collectively. But here, once a new member comes in, as a respect to the new member, we do some formalities. Basically, we scout, now it becomes the role of the sergeant at arm. We scout that to be inducted member outside the meeting room. And there is some procedure happens within the, within the meeting. Some discussion happen, like DDM Sandy mentioned. If anyone has objection or no objection and so on, that's a different uh, topic. I'll not cover that over here today. So what happens is the guest or the prospect is taken outside the meeting room then everyone is, they have some discussion in the meeting room and then the guest is escorted back. And as he comes in, now this is the role of the sergeant arm to bring him back also to the meeting, not just take him out and say, okay, bye, but go out, be with him and just come to the meeting room and make sure this is the right time to bring him in. Then you escort him back to the meeting room. So he feel proud that, you know, he has been given a company or that respect within the, within the club and he's, he walks in. And he feels so warm that, okay, this is how they're welcoming me in the club. So you be that person to escort him and bring him back to the club and maybe to the, his seat where he was uh, earlier sitting. Sometimes people who from this excitement, they, they get nervous where to sit. So you can make sure he sits in that place, his seat is not occupied. And then the other protocols follow within the club, which is part of the VP membership and the other ex members. We will not cover that in this meeting right now. So yes, it's very important that you, as Sergeant Arm, take that responsibility, squatting the member outside the meeting room, 
and in a place where he will not be able to hear what is going on. Sometimes you have the speakers or loud people speak loudly. The voice may go outside and he should not hear that. And then you escort him back to the club when you're asked to, and to his sitting position or to the, to the podium on the stage where then he will be inducted. Okay, so this is one of the role of Sergeant Arm in the club. Mostly because of the virtual meetings, we do not perform this role. But as you are transiting back to the physical meetings, you need to make sure that this is one of your role and you need to be aware of this. Now, this is what happens with member induction as the member comes in. If you look at the door, okay, let me say this is the door. As if you walk in, so everyone will be standing, clapping for him until you bring him and put him on his seat where he is and all to the podium on the front here, and then he'll be inducted, okay? Now, your role during the club contest. So you are the sergeant arm, you need to be there. Just like in the club meetings, you also have the same role in the club contest. And it's not on the club contest, it's also at the area or division contest, you would have very important demand very important role to play and you will be invited to perform your duties during the area contest and the division contest and even if it is a DTAC, physical DTAC, you will be required to help and support the entire events. So make sure you are there. You are one of the most important role player in as, as an officer or as a sergeant arm in the club, in the area, division, district, even beyond. But since we don't go more than the DTAC, so we try to limit ourselves there, unless we get a demand to travel and in the uh, world headquarters and perform some role, maybe we get a lot of fame and one day we will be invited and we all go there as well to perform our role as Sergeant Arm over there. So you are, your role is very important. Don't think it is just you come and start the meeting and go. Your role is never ending. One of the other role is as we come toward the end of our term, like we're coming in end of our meeting, succession plan. You need to make sure whoever is identified as the next person, or you need to also make sure that you have a subcommittee who you train during the term. They will, they will work with you, you work with him or them, sorry, him, her or them, if, depending on how many are there, and they are trained for the future, right? Because we need to train the next leader who comes in. So you identify the position, make sure they have the right skill, you assess, you develop the plan for them, you take them with you and make sure they learn along with you. And then they're ready to come and take the next role very easily, transparently, and there shouldn't be any problem when they take up the role. And this is not only for Sergeant Arm, it's any role you take, you need to make sure that you have a succession plan. And then like, I told you in the beginning for my first slide, you need to get all the information from the immediate past sergeant arm. Now it becomes your role because you will become the immediate past sergeant arm. You need to pass on all the information to the incoming sergeant arm, all the inventory, all the details which you have, all the stuff which you have in your, in your custody, any information you need to pass it on to the incoming sergeant arm. So the cycle continues from there. And you will become an advisor to him throughout the term. For your information. So your role is not for one year, it goes for two years because you become an advisor as immediate past Sergeant Arm. Your role in the executive committee, whenever there is an XCOM meeting, club XCOM meeting, you need to, you need to be uh, there and you need to talk about the inventory, anything which is missing in your Pandora box, you need to highlight it, make sure there's enough funds available. If not, the treasurer, will organize those funds for you. And then all they will discuss, okay, we will not purchase ribbons, but we will give certificates or we'll give online certificates to, to the members. And you need to discuss and plan it in the XCOM meeting. You need to bring up all what you need for the next meeting or the next meeting. So for the next full quarter, because any purchase may need a long time. So you need to plan everything during the XCOM meeting. You need to be very vocal. You need to mention what are the missing. Don't just keep quiet. Most of the time, the sergeant arm, they say, I'm the sergeant arm, I have nothing else to add. That's it, my role is over. 
No, you have a very big role to play the entire inventory. How many meetings are going to take place? How many guests will come in? How many events are going to happen? How many joint meetings? So you discuss all the plans with the VP education. They need to share everything with you. Accordingly, you need to plan your inventory, your purchases, and your arrangements for the future. Maybe the venue is not enough for the next meeting as per your discussion with the, with the XCOM and the VPE. Then you need to say, I need a bigger room or more funds for more seating arrangements or more food, whatever. Right? So you need to be uh, giving all the information in the XCOM meeting. Don't just say, I don't have anything. Make sure whatever you need, whatever you need to ask, that is the right forum, you need to ask them. Quality begins from you. We say we need to retain the club, retain the members and get more members. And that is only if we have a quality club, quality meeting, quality members, quality performance. And that starts from you as Sergeant Tom. So make sure that you contributes to the quality, you contributes to the, the members attraction for the retention and for the new members. Your presentation matters. We heard that you need to be the, the, the pace setter, you need to create that environment. People should listen to you, not don't be dull. You need to practice, practice and practice and make sure that your presentation is liked by everyone. They all enjoy it. I was in one of the club meetings as GE some time ago. And trust me, more than anyone else's presentation or speech or evaluation, I really love the way the sergeant arm performed the role. The best. He was the best in the entire meeting. Your contribution to membership, your individual experience, retention, expansion, as I mentioned earlier, is very important because you are the first person people see starting the meeting. People look at you, the first impression. And if you give the first impression, the best impression, you'll have the best membership, the best club, the best quality, and people love to come to your club. And who knows, they may ask you to come and join their club as well. So be the person who are liked by everyone. There are many people who are very famous by the role of timers. And let me mention DTM uh, Dinesh from uh, Kuwait. People call him international timer. So why don't you become the international sergeant arm? What's wrong in that? A lot of resources available on the TI website. You can go and look at them. These are some of them from the material. You just go to toastmasters.org and then you search Sergeant Arm. You get plenty of information, documentation, flow, scripts, anything you need, it will be available there. That's it. And I wish you all the best. If you have any question, any discussion you want to ask, let's, let's do it now before we wind up. I was told that the, I think the script you have received, fill in the attendance form for, okay, so you have already received the link. So please make sure your, your attendance is captured. If the feedback form is filled so that you're marked as present in the meeting and your club gets the, the DCP, DCP mark. Any questions, my fellow Sergeant Arms? There are two possibilities. Either I was one of the best speaker or no one understood whatever I said. So in both cases, it's an honor for me. And I really enjoyed to be your- Can we, choose, can, can we choose the second one? Second one is, uh, I said, no one understood whatever I said. <laughs> Feel free, you all have my contact information. If you don't have, let me know. I can share my contact information. If you have any queries, any questions, any hint, any idea, any discussion you want to do on Sergeant Arms roles, please feel free. It's, now for me, it's not only Sergeant Arms roles, we can discuss anything about your club, any help you need, uh, feel free and uh, inshallah we all, if not me, I'll get someone to answer your questions. If not me, I get someone who can support you. If not me, I can make sure someone is there to solve the problems you might have. Khalid, I have a question. Time is over. <laughs> <laughs>